Now important example on Lamy's rule, a weight of magnitude 340 gram weight is suspended by means of two light inextensible strings. So here we have a weight of 340. A weight is a vertical force and it's suspended by two strings where the lenses of the two strings are 16 centimeter and 30 centimeters. So we have 16 centimeter here and 30 centimeter here. The two strings are attached to two points in the same horizontal level. The distance between them is 34 centimeter. So the distance between the two points is 34 centimeter. Find the magnitude of the tension in the two strings. The tension in the two strings goes upward. The tension in the two strings T1 and T2 and the weight are three forces that meet at a point. We are given the lenses of the three sides of triangle ABC. Let's compare the squares of the lenses of the side of the triangle to identify the type of the triangle. So here we have long, the longest side here in the triangle as 34. So square of 34 compared to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So 16 squared plus 30 squared. Check the two sides are equal. So this is a right triangle. The right angle is opposite to the longest side, 34. So C is a right angle. Assume the angle be between the, the vertical line that passes through C that represents the weight and T2 is theta1. And assume that the angle between the vertical line that represents the weight and T1 equals theta2. To find theta1 and theta2, let's discuss the geometry of the shape. Since C is a right angle, so theta1 plus theta2 equals 90 degree. So theta1 complements theta2. Here also we have another right angle because the weight is vertical and AB is horizontal. So also angle A complements theta2. So angle A equals theta1. Similarly, here we have a right angle. So theta2, so angle B complements theta1, so angle B equals to theta2. Now in triangle ABC, it's easy to find sine of angle A or sine of theta1 and sine of angle B or this is equal to sine of theta2. So sine of angle A or sine of theta1 equals opposite in triangle ABC, it's equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse, so it's equal to 30 over 34. So 30 over 34 simplify to get 15 over 17. Similarly, sine of angle B or sine of theta 2 equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. This is the opposite to angle B and this is the hypotenuse 34. So 16 over 34. So 16 over 34 to be 8 over simplify to get 8 over 17. This angle is theta 2, so the angle between the weight and T1 is 180 minus theta 2, so here we have 180 minus theta 2. Similarly, here we have the angle between T2 and the weight is 180 minus theta 1, so here also we have 180 minus theta 1. And sine... Sine 180 minus an angle equals sine of the angle. So sine 180 minus theta 1 equals sine of theta 1 equals sine theta 1. And sine 180 minus theta 2 equals sine theta 2 given the weight. And knowing the sine and knowing the sine of the angle between the forces, it's easy to use Lamy's rule. From Lamy's rule, the weight 340 over sine of the opposite angle or sine of the angle between the two strings, which is right angle, so over sine 90 equals T1 over sine of the angle between T2 and the weight, which is 180 minus theta 1. So T1 over sine 180 minus theta 1 is sine theta 1, so over sine theta 1, this equals to T2 over sine of the angle between, between T1 and the weight, which is 180 minus theta 2, 
Sine 180 minus theta 2. Sine 180 minus theta 2 equals sine theta 2. So T2 over sine theta 2. Now cross product to get T1 and T2. So T1 equals cross product move sine theta 1 up. So sine theta 1 is from the geometry of the shape is 15 over 17. So 15, move sine theta 1 up. So 15 over 17 times 340 over sine 90. So 340 over sine 90. Sine 90 is 1. So T1 equals 15 over 17 times 340 to be 300 gram weight. Similarly, cross product T2 equals 340 over 1 because sine 90 is 1 times sine theta 2 where sine theta 2 is 8 over 17 so times 8 over 17 to be equal to 160 gram weight.